hello everyone and welcome back to the channel so it has been two years since i recorded the video on how to install go on a linux system so i decided that it was time to make an update to that video okay so let me uh, open up my web browser and let me search for go install okay so download and install all right so of course we have for linux for mac and for windows so for windows it's quite easy we just download the msi installer and follow the instructions for mac you simply download the package and follow the instructions rather straightforward for Linux, it takes a bit of work, and that's why I will be focusing uh, on Linux in this video. So the first thing we need to do, of course, is to download the actual uh, file. So I download and it asks me, of course, which one I want. And I will say Linux Intel 64-bit processor. Okay. Okay, so it's about 63 megabytes. Okay, so let's move over to my downloads folder or directory. And we have uh, that file here. Okay. Good. So here it is. All right. Inside my downloads directory. So I'm going to. I am going to right click. Uh, right click. Open in terminal. Okay. It's there. So I will go back to the instructions. So here. I will copy this and I will paste this here of course it's telling me I will need to be uh, root uh, sudo so I will need to make sure I prefix my command with sudo now the way I am going to do this command is I will do it in two parts two steps so I will remove this first portion okay and so the first portion says if there is any previous go installation remove it okay so let's do that my password okay great so if i check inside um forward slash usr forward slash local there is no directory that says go okay control l to clear and so now I will run the next part of the command which is this one so I will come here okay and I don't need sudo anymore because um, it remembers that I use sudo once okay so what this will do it will switch to this directory and then take our go uh, archive and extract it there okay that's what this dash c means switch to this directory before uh, extracting let's press enter oops i'm guessing i need to do sudo okay All right, so I had to do sudo. So if I check inside uh, local, I should now see a go directory. All right, and there it is. Okay, so that's the first part. Now the second part is I need to specify uh, to Linux 
where to find my Go installation. Okay, so to do that, I will need to switch back to my home directory, so CD. All right, and then inside my home directory, there is my dot profile. Okay, it's a hidden file. That's why I had to use dash A. So I want this one, dot profile. So I will simply say nano, okay? That's the text editor I am using, and dot profile. And inside this file, I will simply do this, okay? In other words, this is saying, uh, I want Linux to know where to find my Go installation, specifically this directory, okay? So whenever I issue a Go command, Linux knows that it should go to USR, local, Go, and inside the bin directory, okay? And that's what I will attach to my path, okay? So I think I already have this from my last installation, okay? So, um, let's come over here and you will see it right here okay so it is export path in double quotes dollar sign path okay colon forward slash usr forward slash local forward slash go forward slash bin okay once you have done that then you need to save this by saying uh con by pressing the control o uh, option enter and by exiting control x okay now um for the change to be made permanent uh, you need to log out and then log back in however if you want to make sure that it's act it actually works before logging out you will simply see a source okay and then that profile okay and what the source command does it's to temporarily um, refresh sort of the settings for the that profile file okay updates it temporarily so if i say go version uh it should tell me the go version of course for me to make this uh, permanent i will simply have to log out and log back in if i don't do this then my changes will not be permanent so let's log out It will take some time and let's log back in. Okay. And so if I do uh, go version, uh, it should now work and it should always work in the future. And one last check. Let's say echo dollar sign path. This command simply says take the path and print it out uh, onto our screen. Okay, so we should see a go somewhere right here. Okay. Okay, so that's it. That's all you need to do. And from here, you can start. Uh, writing your go programs all right so this is what we did we added the location of go to our path okay so i hope you enjoyed this uh, short video um, if you liked it give it a thumbs up and of course um, if you want to see what other videos i have coming uh, be sure to subscribe and enjoy the rest of your day.